talking about with Tony was to make sure that you know, he, when he goes to hit the gas right here in just a second, that his uh, carburetor responds and he can get a good run to, to start this. Green flag waves. Greg Biffle right glued to the rear of Dale Earnhardt Jr. How long do you wait? How long does Earnhardt Jr. wait and where does he make that move? Yeah, I think now with this situation with the going just going back green, as soon as Junior can feel that push and get that opportunity, I think that he goes. So he's going to take the first opportunity, like you said, with that momentum. And you see these guys bump drafting down the straightaway. Entering turn three, they will come out of turn four. Remember, the start finish line is all the way down in turn one. As they come down this time, it will be the white flag. Tony Stewart now pulls him by two car lanes. Yeah, but normally Junior had been staying right on Tony's bumper, but he knows he's got to get back and get get that help from behind to get that run at this point. And that's what he's done is back off there a little bit to get right Greg here, Biffle on his bumper to get that push. He should have enough momentum to get beside the 20 car by the time they get to the back stretch. He's backed off to get some help in the draft, but they're now scattering too wide behind him. Here he comes at a turn two. Did he get enough momentum? Can he get enough momentum? Here they come. Here he comes on the outside. Listen to this crowd as Dale Earnhardt Jr. runs door to door with Tony Stewart. Can he stay there? Well, they both got help now, so that didn't work in Junior's favor. Check out Leffler on the outside. You're still clear. They were three wide. Now they're four wide. Line. Back to eighth position. Start finish line is all the way down in turn one. Will they have a shot? Tony Stewart trying to hold on. David Stremme trying to stay in second spot. Here they come. Boys, we want to Talladega. Stewart takes the win at Talladega for the very first time in his career. Boy, Tony Stewart had a strong race car. Boy, he had a strong car. And Junior made the move and, and had the momentum. But as soon as he got out there, Biffle jumped away from him and he didn't have that, uh, didn't have the push anymore. Yeah, I really felt like Biffle was going to decide who was going to be the winner there. And he didn't go with Junior when, it, when Junior thought he was and uh, kind of gave it to Tony. Great job in this 2010. Yeah, Mike standing by with crew chief uh, Dave Rogers. And for the second straight week, Dave Rogers, crew chief's a winning race car. But, man, that was close. What were you thinking when Junior pulled up alongside and really put his nose out front? Uh, here we go. <laughs> uh, you know, it, you want to be leading, but it's tough to be leading. Uh, you know they're going to gang up on you. Uh, you got to take a minute to let my heart settle down here a little bit. Uh, hey, I want to thank Mark Ronquist back at the shop, TRD Motors. You know, Mark, Mark's building these TRD Motors for us. and. They got a lot of power. Uh, Mike Bright, Reggie Tucker, all them guys that built this body. It was actually built for Talladega, and it was so fast we brought it to Daytona, and uh, we've won both of them. So uh, thanks to all the guys. It's a fast race car. That's why we're here. Great at restrictor plate track so far this year, but you see the burnout down there in front of you. You know this is Tony's first win here in Talladega. How, how big is this for you and for this team, and especially your driver, his first win here? That motor is junk right now because he's killing the rev chip, but uh, it's really big. You know, Tony and I and, and Zippy work together for a lot of years, and anytime we get Tony in the car and we can have success with him, it's special. But to come here to Talladega, it's the first time that the uh, car from the front row won. It's the first time Tony won. Uh, it's another two in a row for us, so I don't know. Uh, it, it's, it's special. I don't know how to tell you. Well, Doc, the streak for Kyle Busch has come to an end, but the Joe Gibbs racing streak continues. It took Tony Stewart 24 races, 18 in cup, and now six in nationwide series competition to finally get a win at Talladega. You don't think he's enjoying that right now, waving to the fans, and the fans approve it because they realize Tony Stewart drove one heck of a race. He really did, Doc, and it was a great team effort. This is a great race team right here. They've done such a great job all year long capped it off with the win at Talladega. David Stremme finishes second, a, a best finish of the year. Let's go down a bit here from him. And he's uh, walking all around his race car, checking out all the little damage. He did a little pushing up there, and he got pushed from behind, and he come home second. How about that day? Yeah, it's uh, really good for the Atris home Chevrolet. Uh, you know, uh, the guys on this team been working really hard here lately. We've run four different cars, been all over the country, other countries, and real proud of them. Um, 
you know, for this organization, it's a building process, and we keep getting stronger. But uh, at the end, it was wild. I was going to go with Junior. Then I kind of got hung out a little bit, and I stayed on the bottom and uh, seen smoke up there, so I said I was going to go with him. But I think Bobby Jr., he hung with me there and uh, with Biffle and that. But uh, it was a good day and all. All right, David Strumming coming home second. Right behind him is uh, Bobby Hamilton Jr., who also had a great run today, guys. Team getting stronger and stronger. Talking about the RWI guys there for uh, David Strumming and Stephen Wallace, who had a good car until he was involved in a multi-car crash. Kudos to Bobby Hamilton Jr., his best finish of the year thus far. Jason Leffler in fourth. And how about Mark Green getting a fifth-place finish in the 70 car? Let's uh, go down and visit where Shannon has caught up with Dale Earnhardt Jr. That's right, Dale Earnhardt Jr., sixth-place finish. Looked like you had him. The entire crowd was on their feet. Tell me what happened on that last lap. Well, I was me and Tony worked great together the whole race, and I wanted to be, if I could help it, I wanted to come down between me and him. And... Uh, so we worked together the whole race, and it was down to the last lap, and I backed off, tried to pack a, uh, the uh, 16 and a couple guys there under the rear bumper of the car to get a run, and I thought we had it uh, timed good, but uh, our run wasn't as good as it could have been, and Tony's car was just that strong. So uh, congratulations to him and Joe Gibbs. That was a lot of fun today, and, uh, you know, we – it was fun at the end, you know, to run nose to tail. I think the package could be a little bit better to keep us off the bottom, you know, make the racing a little more exciting. But hopefully everybody's okay from the big crash. And I want to thank Delphi and all our sponsors at JR Motorsports. And, uh, you know, we got – she's sort of in one piece. Got a couple of dents from all that bump drafting. But we'll uh, – it's a good car. Well, Dale Jr. said he had fun today, and it certainly was fun watching him, guys. After 10 races, the NASCAR points are thus. The top four stay good, big uh, stay the same. A big gain by Mike Bliss gains two spots. How about Bobby Hamilton Jr. goes all the way up into the top 10 with that impressive third place finish here today. Well, let's go down and talk to the first time Talladega winner as uh, Jamie Little down there with Tony Stewart. And Smoke talking to the team, celebrating everybody so excited. They finally made it to victory lane at Talladega for the first time. Tony Stewart, Smoke coming from the car, hence the name Smoke on the side of the car. He gets his hat, getting ready to climb out. Tony Stewart, as you said, Doc, 24 starts. And it's a Gatorade bath that we're in the middle of. Tony. Tony, three laps to go. The caution comes out. You have no help. Dale Jr. is behind you with a freight train. What is that feeling like? Not very good. <laughs> but, uh, you know, with the momentum of these cars, I just didn't, you know, I knew I probably needed to get back a ways to him but uh, and not get out too far to the front. But uh, this is our good luck charm right here. Little Brittany, Little Make Brittany, a Wish our, Foundation. Our friend from Make a Wish that we met today. and. I told her we'd try extra hard to get in victory lane to get her in victory lane today, so I'm glad we got you here. Now we're going to have to take her on the road the rest of the year, so she might miss a little more school or something, but uh, uh, this thing was awesome. I mean, all the guys, Dave Rogers and everybody on this Old Spice team, they did such a great job today, and uh, you don't know what to do. I mean, I didn't think leading was the place to be, um, and I still don't think that, even after winning the race, that, that you know being the leader there with two laps to go was the right place to be, but uh, you know, he did what he had to do. They just got spread out behind us, and uh, you know, we got a push from behind that we needed, so uh, we were able to get back by. Congratulations, Tony Stewart, victorious in the nationwide race here. Alan? And as the celebration continues, we begin to turn our attention to next weekend's race, the NASCAR Nationwide Series at Richmond International Raceway. Friday night, coverage starts at 7 o'clock Eastern Time on ESPN2. And make sure to tune in tomorrow for continuing coverage of the NBA playoffs, Cleveland and Washington, game four of their series. And then at 3.30 Eastern, the defending NBA champion Spurs at the Phoenix Suns in game four. Coverage starting at 12.30 Eastern on ABC. And up next, except on the West Coast, ABC's World News or your local news over most of these ABC stations. Exciting day. Big accident, a lot of great racing at the end. Tony Stewart held off Dale Earnhardt Jr. for the victory. Thanks for watching ESPN on ABC.